This week on Softball 360, baseball legends become softball legends as Pete Rose, Reggie Jackson, Ozzie Smith, and others team up for a big-time charity game. Well, we've got uh, a team with a lot of potential in softball. <laughs> Obviously, baseball we've covered. Softball, you know, you're going to see some fun things today. But first, find out which teams took home the trophies at all the ASA year-end tournaments, the men's major, the Hooters National Championship, and the men's senior. <laughs> we said that the uh, first, first place and uh, team in one of the tournaments got a, got a year-long supply of Viagra. <laughs> that was just a joke, though. We don't need it. All that and much more next on Softball 360. Welcome to Softball 360. Once again, we're coming at you from Oklahoma City, where we are in the final day of the ASA Hooters National Championship, which is regarded by many as the most prestigious tournament in the country. Later on the show, we will bring you all the highlights from this tournament. But first, we want to take you to another ASA championship. It is the men's senior, and it took place a couple weeks ago in North Carolina. This is the um, Amateur Softball Association Men's Senior National Championship. Starts out at 50 year olds, 50 to 55, 55 to 60, 60 to 65, 65 to 70, and 70 to 75. One, one, one two, three, hit! Let's go, guys. No. There are a lot of safety rules in there. We, we have a double first base where the runner goes to one half and the fielder plays the other half so we avoid collisions. We have two home plates, so the runner goes to the second home plate, and the catcher plays the, uh, the main home plate, and uh, that prevents collisions there. We have courtesy runners for uh, players that may be um, hobbled by an injury or you know disability, so that they can uh, still hit the ball, and, and then somebody can run for them if they get on base. But as far as the competitiveness, it's no different. You know, they're all competitive; they all want to win still. When I first started playing senior ball, I thought it was a bunch of guys with walkers going down to first baseline, but it isn't. I mean, these guys, some of the best players in the country are playing this game. I mean, they're still, they still can hit, but it's just a different speed. This is a national. This is what you play for all your life. Oh, boy, and all let's year. Go. So this is big for us or anybody that's capable. We're just thankful to be 58 years old to be out here right, and able to run the bases. These men have played ball all their life, and a lot of them can still probably play better than some of the younger guys that are out there. Might not can run as fast, uh, but uh, they do a real good job. What do ball players do? They go out of town. They go out of town. They drink and pick up girls, and that's what we do. Seventy-year-olds, you know. No, we don't do that. <laughs> A lot of people tell me, even my family members, Ricky, you're too old, you know, when are you going to stop? But those are ones that are bent over, you know, and, and can't walk good. So it doesn't bother me at all. I'll, I'll play until I can't play. Yeah, never too old to be playing. Sort of like golf, you know, you can play all your life. Uh, as long as you can uh, swing a bat and, and uh, bend over and pick the ball up and, and run the bases, you're okay. National Championship, ASA. Men's senior 50 over, slow pitch, 2005. Well, Billy, we did it again. We came to a great city. It was a great tournament, great facility. Um, you know, we can't wait to come back, really. One, two, three, Disney World! <laughs> Coming up next on Softball 360, the 1975 Sportsman of the Year proves he still got it 30 years later as Pete Rose teams up with some of baseball's all-time greats for a charity softball extravaganza. Now I'm just going to hit I have a guy run for me. It's a great job. I mean, it's a great job. You don't even have to try to beat it out. So needs to say we're not going to see any signature rows head firsters today. Got to get speed to get a head first slide, but I'll guarantee you I'll get a couple hits. But first, the best softball players in the country square off at the ASA Men's Major, and then 
The heat is on in Panama City Beach for the second weekend of the WSL Mike and North American Championships. Hey, we'll take it out on the ball field if y'all want to now. Y'all just let us know. Yeah. Let's jump on out here on the ball field. Softball 360 is brought to you by Mike and Sports. We'll change more than your game. Trump, the official ball of the WSL. And BatReviews.com, your best source for new bat information. Welcome back to Softball 360. We are here at the ASA Hooters National Championship in Oklahoma City as we continue our coverage of the ASA year-end tournaments. Now, just before the break, we brought you the Men's Senior Championship and we continue our coverage with the Men's Major Championship. Special reporter Gordy Heagle has the story. Gordy Heagle, the old scout here at beautiful Sanford Memorial Stadium. And boy, what a place it is. When I say beautiful, there's no two ways about it. It's one of the best parks we play in in the world. Who is this? Softball man, sir. Softball man? What do you do? I do softball. What do you do? Tell the folks uh, what happened. Well, we we played some two good teams. We played pretty good. We didn't play terrible. We played worse, but obviously we played a lot better. So. Right. Tails. Call tails. It is tails. Three. One, two, three. Two. One, two, three. Race. Yeah. Thoughts on uh, second place finish? Uh, great. Good for us. I mean, the last time we finished second was in 1997, came a runner up to Long Haul. You can't compare it to Benefield. They're, they're such a good team. That's why they're number one in the nation. And, uh, you know, we had a chance. That's why we, that's why they play the game. But uh, they showed why they're number one. Enjoyed it. I mean, I'm really proud of these guys. Uh, in the past month and a half, Gordy, they have just, they've really stepped up and done, done the job. Randy, congratulations to you, your team. Uh, there's no question it's a team. I can see that the last four or five tournaments have been unbelievable. Congratulations once again, and thanks for taking the time with us. Thanks, Gordy. <laughs>